Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody's having trouble contouring this dog, and I, I'm not 100% sure I understand. I don't know if he wants all these jagged parts, but here's kind of the problem. It's really hard to contour that. You're not going to get that to contour. He's wanting to go, and I don't understand the dimensions, uh, 10 millimeters. So we're going to contour it three different ways. We're going to take the first, first of all, for who I'm doing this for, you were looking at it in wireframe, which I would always look at it in advanced or in enhanced. So we're going to do it to the outside, 10 millimeters, to the outside with the normal contour and hit apply. We're going to take this dog and we're going to go 10 millimeters with rounded corners to the outside. We're going to take this one and use beveled corners to the outside. So you've got three choices there. The first one's pretty bad because it's taking these in dramatically. It can't do much there, but these little sharp points, it's, it's making them double. This is smoothing them out. I, I think this would be the, especially if you're going to cut this out, you don't want sharp edges. And then the same thing kind of with this. Uh, it does pretty good. There's just no, uh, there might be a little bit of difference in the wave. But my suggestion would be to, if you wanted this cut out exactly like it is, uh, make it 10 millimeters larger. Or unless he wants a border around it, you could try to and see all the nodes. I would actually, I know this is the dog's tail and the, the you want that, but let's contour to the outside just 0.9 of a millimeter to the outside with round and hit apply. It barely gave us a contour, but what it is doing, it's kind of conforming to that shape, but once you contour a little bit further, you're going to lose this shape. So what you could do and maybe just get a different effect would be to grab it and break contour apart, grab the red contour, and then contour it 9.1 millimeters to the outside and delete that other contour. Whoop. I've got to break it apart, go to range, break contour apart, try to grab that red. And you'll see right down there that you've got the red one, hit delete. That might be your best contour, but I don't think it's really that much better as far as cutting this dog out. You know, if you want, you don't want sharp edges on a piece of wood. So this is kind of actually doing you a favor. And if you didn't want those sharp edges on any of them, and I know you don't have X uh, eight or above it, you can use a shape tool and you could get rid of that. You know, you're, you're taking away from the dog's tail and you could actually even select, and I'm not suggesting you do this, but reduce the, the nodes a little bit and get rid of some of those nodes. And then when you contour it to the outside 10 and with the rounded one, you're going to get a, a really good clean contour. Now, and I just started thinking about that. Let's back completely up. Let's put everything back like it was. This dog is, well, this is in millimeters. So we're going to change our nudge distance and also your duplicates off. But let's make this. Let's see, the dog is 328. Let's make it 350. Let's make a copy of that. Control D and move it down. And let's contour this one to the outside. Well, no. What we're going to do, let's do this. Let's take our shape tool and just get rid of some of these nodes. Get rid of some of these sharpnesses of the nodes. And I'm not suggesting you do this, but this is just another option. Grab the shape tool, grab all the nodes, go up here and type in 20. 
and then contour this guy to the outside in red, break contour apart, take your inside dog and move him out of the way and move your old dog up. Well, I must have jiggled a little bit. Um, sometimes in Corel, if you don't hit it just perfect, let's back up here because I want to make sure this works. Yeah, we'll see. There's the problem. And I can't stand that. You need to or I'm not saying you need to do this. I don't like that offset. That's what causes this problem. Control D and move it down. Go here and apply. Well, we didn't smooth it out. Let's grab the zoom tool, shape tool. Let's get rid of some of those nodes. And that's too much. Get rid of those nodes and that node. Maybe a couple of these nodes. And that you know just clean it up a little bit then contour this guy go up to a range and break contour apart take your old dog and move it out of the way take your or your new dog and take your old dog and move it up so now you still have the the definition of the tail and the nodes but your contour is a lot smoother and if you were going to make it this is 12 inches. I Let's see. It's in millimeters, but let's change it to inches real quick. And select it. It's 13 inches big. I can't, I don't really know. It's not going to be a name badge. Uh, maybe it's just going to be a sign. But anyway, that's how I would do it. And I would use the rounded part of the contour. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.